presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? How much, Tom? How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day, and uh, certainly let's make it a great night and a great week. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself and it will take longer to accomplish your goals. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up, uh, up 77, NASDAQ is up 90, S&P is up 12 and a half, Gold contract up 12 and a half bucks, trading at 17.76 an ounce. We have silver up 30, 35 cents, 22 dollars 55 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 27 cents, 70 dollars 56 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note down two ticks, trading 133.06. 30 year off five at 163.23 and king dollar. King dollar is down 78 ticks, trading 93.198. Euro 117, yen 109.21 of the British pound at 136 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Bottom line, folks, is that you get a very weak market, man. I mean, if, you know, most times, folks, you're going to get a little more bounce than this, and we'll see if that's what we get. Um, you know, right now you, you, you're up a buck twenty-seven inside the spies. You get sixty-nine million. We go downtown yesterday with uh, one hundred and sixty-four million. The biggest deal that we have out here, you know, when you look at markets, is that we have a decisive break of the trend line going back six months. That's what you have. You broke it with volume, had wide price spread, accelerated volume. You know, uh, bottom line is that you can get a bounce out of this. I expect you're going to get some kind of a bounce out of it. We're going to get a choppy market, uh, but my take is that we're going to the bottom of this consolidation, and inside of the uh, spies, it's quite a problem, actually. I mean, it's like, you know what the thing is wild, actually? The, you know, when I brought this up in a six-month today, it's like, okay, man, uh, you know, I'm using, I'm, I'm not going to bring it down to the end, but, okay, here, I'll stop, I'll slow down, folks, okay. March 25th of this year, that's where this trend line starts from. Well, let me actually... Put it back a year and see if it's actually longer than that. This would be really strange if it's a break. Oh, my God. Wow. You can make the case. Ooh, this is scary. Okay. Let me do this. This is not cool. I don't even want to think. Oh, man. Okay. So I don't even want to bring this one up. This is sick. Okay. So you can actually make the case that you broke the trend line going all the way back to uh, November of 2020. You know, my take, volume-wise, though, when you get a break, is that you're going to go to the high volume low. And the high volume low, I believe, was May 17th. Yeah, May, May 12th. That's, that's where I think this baby's going. And that is, we're still in the 400s there, 404. That's how this baby's set up in the SPY. If we go take a look at the uh, NDX 100, uh, the three Qs, what you have with the three Qs is this. You're up a buck 68. And these babies here, it's like that high volume low is sticking out like a sore thumb at 316. You know, now if you were just listening to Dave's show, okay, he was talking about the aspect that uh, if you're a bull, it's much better that you test the lows right now, and it is. And what that's all about, folks, is that you hear me talking about it many times about building cause. What happens is this in markets, right? So let, let's just picture if you, let's picture you're, we're all bulls right now first. 
If you're all bulls right now, the best thing you want to see, man, is that you want to see this go right back down to the lows, test the lows, and not have enough volume, and reject lower price. That is saying that, okay, the selling is over. There's nothing else below it. It's going to build cause to go higher. When you don't come down right away and you start messing around, if we, if we mess around bouncing and going sideways for two to two and a half weeks, it's a monster problem. That is the building cause. That is the working out of the marketplace to build up enough energy to basically go into lower price because that's what we have right now. Now, the market does the exact same on the top side also, okay? Because when you go on the top side, the bottom line is that you can go high. You know, you, you back down, you mess around, you go sideways. That's what consolidations are about. Consolidations really a building cause. Um, so that's going to be, that's always a huge heads up when you get, down drafts like this. It's like, okay, man, how far can it bounce? Is it a bounce, number one? And the bottom line is that are you building cause for lower price? You know, so we'll see where the whole thing is going to shake out. But my take is that it's the beginning of the correction. It came down hard. It came down fast, you know, and most times when you see that happen, that's not a, a one time deal okay that's what it comes down to sorry about that folks turn that off um you know it's not a it's not a one-time deal that's the real bottom line we take a look at some of the uh well first off let's go into the well hey let's go into disney because disney took a hit intraday now the thing that's in interesting about this is that the reason it took a hit intraday is that he, the ceo is doing a um conference right now at uh, goldman sachs i think yeah go at a goldman event and intraday, uh, he turned around and he talked about the aspect that he thinks that um, streaming is going to slow down. Well, yeah, I mean, I think streaming probably will slow down, but Disney gets so many subscribers, it's a total mind blower anyway. So what's going to be interesting here is to see technically how this thing is set up because it, it certainly, you know, got fucking, oh, excuse me, it, 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 it came down from, from 182. Yeah, from 182 to 169, like in about a heartbeat, um, you know, didn't break the swing, okay? Uh, but if you take, if we turn around, we take a look at this and we put this on a weekly, what you're going to see on a weekly is that, you know, you have a couple high volume lows that you're going to be testing out. So on, on this week right here, as long as Disney closes about one, above 168.72, there's nothing wrong with it. It's like one of these deals that, okay, um, you get... Right now, you get 23 million coming into 78, but we're talking on a weekly, so you got to wait till the week gets done. But you get the gist of it, meaning that you pull down. This looks like it's going to be another rejection. You're coming into the strength, whereas 121 million, uh, 100, 100, yeah, 121 million shares traded. It's pretty wild all around. That's that's the real bottom line. If we take a look at the NDX 100 and we take a look at the strength versus the weakness. Uh, CGEN is strength up 3.8%. You get Moderna up 3.5%, ASML up 2.4%, and you get uh, Team, uh, which is up at 2.3%. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 85. We get the Nasdaq up 95. S&Ps are up 13 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go to newsletters. You see the opening call right on your left-hand side. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for five for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. You get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593.33. Now, what happens, folks, is this. You're not only going to get the opening call. Basil has done about 12 workshops that are just absolutely outstanding. So it's a huge amount of education over there. Um, check it out. If it works for you, great. It works for you. If it doesn't work for you for some reason, it's a 30-day money-back guarantee. You get your money back. Check it out. Come over to our website at TFNN. Hit that button. You are off to the races, and you're going to get a great education. That's the way to look at this, that you, the education, you know, you, you've got to get the fishing rod. That's the bottom line. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good, and uh, what a fascinating, is it every week that we say what a fascinating market, but well, it really is. It, it, you, know, it, you know, it's so cool about being in this business is that, you know, you don't have to do a lot of prep work, folks, in the morning, because the bottom line is that the market's always moving. <laughs> it's always moving, absolutely, you yes. Know, there's, there's no doubt, and... You know, that crack was a pretty good crack. There's no doubt about that. And because we I have, think it you was. know, we haven't got yeah. one in so long, uh, you know, you can see, you know, folks um, like little concerned. So it, it's it's going to be intriguing to see how this whole thing plays out, you know. And part, part of what is fascinating about this market is that it depends on which sector and which day at which time because it's rotating constantly. This is the first yes. time we've started to see the, the big cap tech stocks not rally and leave the market up. They're really struggling. And that's part of this rotation that we've been talking about for some time now. So, I mean, if you're looking at the Dow, you know, the pattern that I talk about, I'll just show it for people who are new to my work, is a pattern I look at which sees the price come down sharply, then it tries to rally, and it fails in an arch formation. It looks like a lowercase h. 
and that peak turns around at about this, either the first peak A or at peak B, and then it takes out that left side low. And when it does that, okay. uh, very often, I call it the dreaded H because when it comes down, it can come down very sharply. Well, we saw that. The Dow made an all-time high at 35,631. Uh, we've been long since March of last year, still have long positions. But on the shorter term, we played uh, a short-term upside move in the diamonds, and then I switched and I went to the short-term Short position, one to one short the Dow via the DOG. Dog is the uh, symbol. Yes. And just about just a, a couple of hundred points off the top, and we've been short all the way. And it, it went uh, basically the the Dow's pulled back two thousand points. It's not much, but it's the way it did it. And that very sharp candle yesterday. You know, we were down almost a thousand points at one stage. Then we turned around at about this time. When actually it was about an hour earlier. It was about. 2.33 o'clock that we turn around and that I had a signal one of the signals that I talk to I always uh, discuss with subscribers that have certain indicators one of them I call the chap wave trend gauge and basically when the trend the short term trading index goes either very low or very high I get signals and I had a signal uh, that said that the Dow should be down yesterday and then intraday yesterday there was a very high trend which said that there should be at least a 9 to 11 point rally in the future as well. Of course, we've got a great deal more than that. But we had that rally. I, can't th I think that rally is kind of wearing out. And you can see this pattern I've got here. I've drawn in this arch formation. This particular candle at a, at a low is, a, I call it the Chapman Wave Roman candle. There's one right here on the, the day after the 16th of August high. So that was the 17th. If you look at that candle, it opens, sh pulls back sharply and then closes a little more than halfway of the whole candle itself. I call that the Roman candle. I have a particular uh, technique that we look at if the uh, price goes halfway into that candle and holds for a shorter time period, uh, you can expect that low to be tested. And look, that's what happened. Well, the exact opposite happens here. This is not exactly a Roman candle because it didn't close halfway. It's a little bit more. But what I would said is if there is a close above the high of yesterday, which is at 34,459 uh, within the next two days. That's actually very positive. And then we can get a very large arch formation. But if it fails, and there's a lot of evidence to say that there could be a failure, and so far the Dow's up 84. It was up much sharper than that. It was at 34,300 earlier. It's three, almost 300 points lower than that. So that's just going to say big struggles going on here. So I like to look at markets as... Uh, separate time frames and separate uh, sectors. Sure. In this case, it's the Dow. And if you look at the uh, weekly chart, and a lot has to happen to change this weekly chart for not making a peak uh, at 35,631, a weekly peak for a sell signal. We're almost there right now, but I, I always wait until. Tell me that number weekly. again, Basil, please. So. So the uh, we, we went to 35,631. Yep. Most importantly, if we close anywhere below 34,000, I'd say 150, that's a close at Friday. At On a weekly. Clock. Okay, cool. Okay, that's great. going to suggest that this long-term trend line has been taken out. Yep. And it also suggests I that see. the weekly chart is about, for the first time, about to go to a sell signal, maybe even a sell mode. So I like to go step by step. Leg D in the monthly chart There's probably going to be a peak D, but I don't want to talk about monthly yet because so far the technicals are still very bullish. What is fascinating is that the QQQ NDX 100, and I think it's been about, about a, a month and a half or two months that I've been saying to you, I think that there are a lot of very just wonderful stocks like Amazon, Apple in the QQQ in the NDX 100 that are looking kind of tired and they're really going to start to struggle. So in the Chapman wave, when you get to a peak D, that's where I start to look at something else could happen. So it gave me signals. That that's the only signal I got because the technicals were still strong. So we were actually lucky to go short about three, four days after the all-time high of 382.78. We went short at about 381. And here it is down to the 367 level, having hit 360 yesterday. This is the first time we've seen, some, seen something like this in the uh, NDX 100 trading vehicle. That's the QQQ Trust Series. And that weekly chart here again, um, the, in this particular instance, the MACD is still very strong. Uh, it's just cross positive, but it's not bad. <laughs> 
stochastics above 80%, that's good. But the nine period moving average above the 14 says you have to use other indicators if you want to get some kind of a sell signal in the weekly. So I use this. I would say if, the, if, if on Friday at 4 o'clock, the QQQ trading now at 367.50, if it closes below 359, that's going to be the first real signal that we've got some kind of a change in trend that is more than just a brief by the by the dip pullback. This is going to be something different. So I have my parameters very clear. We've got we take we've taken uh, taken profits in a lot of our positions. We we have a big cash position now. Still have a couple of stocks. One in fact made an all-time high just the other day. So we've been very very selective here. Yeah, you know what I thought was intriguing. This is the first time I've seen the Dow crack first in 20 years. The Dow cracked first in 2000, but other than in that- In 2000 in January, and right, other, March, Yeah, January yeah. 3rd, and then NASDAQ went March 15th, right? Uh, Correct. Have a great one, Basil, have a safe one. Stay Thank right there, folks, come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at tfnn.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 103. You get the NASDAQ up 101. S&P is up 16. Let's go into the Dow for a second. Uh, so here, let me finish this thought, Pat, and Basil, I was just talking about the aspect of how markets crack in general. Uh, when I was just explaining that you know, uh, that this is the first time I saw in a long time that it's the Dow that cracked first versus the NASDAQ. Um, they're always different. That's, that's well, they seem to always be different. Uh, that being said, is that the last time I saw the Dow crack first was in basically January 3rd, 2000. And then the, the NASDAQ didn't crack until uh, March 10th, I believe. Uh, so 
you know, this in itself was like, okay, man, wh why is this getting so weak first? Um, and I don't know. Uh, but it's something just like everything else that you kind of put in your head as to how the markets work that you want, you want to pay attention to. That, that, that's my point more than anything else. Um, you know, so inside of the Dow today, the strength versus the weakness. Okay, so you're going to have uh, Disney's putting 39 negative points, Goldman, four, Goldman 10, no, 3M10, Goldman 4, nothing big. Home Depot, 29 positive points. American Express, 24. Microsoft, 13. Oh, I know it wanted. Let's go over to Lenar for a second. I believe Lenar came out with numbers. And Lenar right now is up 25 cents. It was as low as 95.51. I actually thought I was going to go to that 94.50 because that has some volume down there. But it, it just it rejected, it rejected the lower swing. So you just rejected the lower swing. You re, yeah, I, this makes sense. Okay, I see what's happening here. You, you, last time Lenar was at, at, at its lows, the low it was generated was $90.53. When it came off that low, it, it fired up big time. That's real strength. Uh, the, the, first, the, sec, the first day off the low, it goes from 91 to 96. Next day off the low, it goes from 95 to 100. Um, and it had volume of 7.6 million. And we did out here, you're not even going to do it. You, you came into that area with 2.4 million. And let's just see what they have to say, because this is where you're going to really get some good information as to what real time is happening. So uh, let's say they, they, they were talking about that the, they, they forecast new orders for the fourth quarter fall short of analyst consensus. Analysts weren't surprised by the short fall in the closings, given the updates from D.H. Horton and Pluti. The, one of the reasons for that, folks, is that, <laughs> which totally makes sense to me, it's like, they were always pre-selling, and the bottom line is that this is a market that you don't want to be pre-selling in. Well, this is what ends up happening. There's risk of not pre-selling, and there's risk of selling. That's what it really comes down to, okay? Because the bottom line of, of not, yeah, there's risk of not pre-selling, and there's risk of pre-selling. And what it is, the risk of pre-selling has to do with the aspect that prices continue to go much higher, they're buying product that costs higher price, and all of a sudden, you're 24% or 22%. These uh, builders work, it, it, margin-wise, it's close to 22 to 24, 25%. That's how, that's how the, build, the builders work. So what you have is that when these houses are finished, so you can see that they're going to get more money for their houses. Um, let's see what else they have to say here. They Okay, they were disappointed that the gross margin picture did not improve. Well, who's ever saying that? So this is, this is let's say, okay, so this is Evercore ISI, uh, a, a broker dealer. Um, they were disappointed that the gross margin picture did not improve. I, my, my take is that this gross margin picture, you won't get real gross margins numbers and for like another six months. And the, and the reason is what, what I just explained, meaning that you're still buying product. If you sold it at a price that you thought was good, and then all of a sudden you're replacing it with a, with a price that's 20% higher, the bottom line is that your gross margins are going to go down. That being said, when they were disappointed as to how many houses they actually sold, Holding back those houses until the end product. Oh. Sorry, folks. Excuse me. Holding back those houses to the end product comes in, meaning it's done. Then you sell it. You're going to see that expansion of profit come right back to where it was. Um, and then the next line is, that said, we continue to believe Lana's uh, fourth quarter 21. Um, Includes peak lumber costs, which it does. Um, it, see, it really shouldn't, though. This is, you know, you know it's so cool, man. See, I, I, I love being in the financial business and building at the same time. And the reason being is like right there. There is no way. Okay, so so picture what that was said. That said, we continue to believe when Oz fourth quarter. Evidently, that's what they just you know report. 
Oh, okay. So then, then, then we continue to be that the coming forward outlook includes peak lumber costs and remain convinced that margin will expand. Well, the bottom line is that the lumber that they're putting out in the fourth quarter, I expect they already have that lumber. That's the real bottom line, okay? That lumber is already delivered. So they've already bought that lumber. Because if they didn't, there's no way that you're gonna go build 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 houses without having the lumber when it's November. I'm ahead of myself by six and a half to seven months. They're gonna be ahead of themselves at least four to five months, you know, because they have a better supply chain probably. You know what I'm saying? But it's, anyway. Um, Okay, so they're still running. They're actually running good, man. It says here that the, the third quarter margin was still at 27.3%. It's still a good margin. It's a huge margin, actually. It's a huge margin. So we'll see where the rest... Let's see what Toll Brothers, what Toll Brothers is thinking about it. So we take a look at Toll Brothers. Toll Brothers just back down with light volume. Yeah, this one's higher price. This is building costs for higher price. Next time Toll Brothers comes out with numbers. December 7th. And what they're going to be looking for, they're going to be looking for $3 billion and uh, 253 to the bottom line. So they're, they're looking some, for some real numbers coming into the bottom line. Uh, they get quite a good, look at this, look at this jump from this year to next year. This year they're doing 8.7 billion. They look to do at 10.3 billion next year. That would be uh, almost a double in gross sales in five years. And, you know, I can tell you the way that the demand side of the equation is very large. Now, we know that demand can change in about two seconds. And what I mean by that, they, the reason they can change in two seconds in the housing market is that because they're emotional. Uh, you know, when people are chasing houses and bidding them up 30, 40, 50 grand over asking price, that's an emotional deal, folks. Um, but real estate's emotional. There's no doubt about it. And then as soon as that stops, okay, so, so picture you bid it up like that, all the appraisals go up, everything else goes up. At some point, that stops, and then what ends up happening is that you get a couple bad appraisals, that comes down, then all of a sudden people say, oh, real estate's never going to go up again, ever. Yeah, well, we know that doesn't work. Everything goes up and everything goes down, folks. Dow Industrial's up 86, NASDAQ not up 90, S&P's up 12 and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Dow, Dow Industries right now up 96. You get the NASDAQ up 90. S&Ps are up by 13 and a half. Let's take a look at a few of the king dogs out here. Bring Amazon up first. Amazon right now trading sideways, 669. Amazon also come down with volume at 3,300. I think it's 3,100 that I'm looking for. So the, there. Yeah, 3,153. That's kind of. It's a high volume low that's going to be hard to take out. Take out, but the, you know, it's tried it. I mean, it tried to take it out on the fifth uh, of March, the week of the fifth of March. It came into that area with 20 million versus 28 million. Now, so watch how this works, folks. Okay, this is what's pretty cool. If if you're a fan of Amazon and you're looking to buy Amazon, right? What happens according to the timing of trade is this. The first time that it came down on volume on a weekly is 28.8 million. You get down to what, 28.71. You came down, so that was on the week of uh, September 25th. Then you came down on the, well, okay, then you get a look on the upside. So on the upside, Amazon is a beauty, man, because I love this when this happens, okay? So we went downtown with 28 million, okay? Hit, you hit uh, 28.71. Now you go uptown and you hit, the 34.96, see the volume expand, 31 million? So it's 31 million versus 28. Sweet, okay, that's good. That's, that's, to me, that's building cause for higher price, okay? So next time it comes down, what, what happens? It comes down with 20 million. Now that's beautiful, it's 20 million on a weekly versus 28, okay? We go sideways, we make a high out here, you do the high with 21 million, not bad. This is a little problem here coming down with 25, but you don't go to a swing point, so you don't take as much consideration because it's not running into a swing at that point. If this is a buy, what I would love to see is that it comes down all the way into that level and it gets there at less than 20 million. Because the first time was 20, the second time was 20 million, first time is 28 million. You want to see less strength on the way down because we still have strength on the way up. That's how that baby shakes out. Netflix, NFLX. Let's go take a look at Netflix out here. Netflix right now is trading at a price point of 575. Now this really held up for a down market. That's the bottom line. There's no doubt, man. I mean, this had high was 615, and even yesterday, man. Look at this. There was no selling in this, man. You're down three dollars and set. You're down 3.7 million. You're going into 6.3 million. Is that right? Yeah, okay, there's no selling on the stock. You know, so this thing is strongly as a bull, right? big time. We put this on a weekly, and on yeah, a weekly, it still wants, yeah, see, this is interesting. On, on a weekly, you're still in a consolidation because it didn't break out of that consolidation. Anything that stays under 593, it's in the consolidation. So it looks like it's going to stay in the consolidation for a while. But that, that's a strong stock. Microsoft. You know, and Microsoft was a little canary uh, the day before yesterday. Well, they, well, Friday, because Friday it's like, oh man, hey, what's going on with Microsoft? Look at that on Friday. On Friday, 
you know, it went from 304 to 299, and all of a sudden volume exploded out of Microsoft, 41 million. What happens there is this. That is a fund that's starting to get out, and the markets are still so hyped for higher price that he or she just kept feeding the market. But you can see the expansion of price. It's insane, and expansion of volume. Now, yes, it was option expiration, but it doesn't matter, folks. What matters is that, you know, if that thing was going to go to higher price, bottom line, it would have been pushing higher with volume, not low with volume. Then we have yesterday, bottom line, you get some volume on the way down. We hit uh, 38 million. You're going sideways today with uh, 17 million. The sideways move, to me, does not tell us a lot. That, that's, I, I, what I like to see is this. I like to see a real bounce because it's harder to decipher, especially the first couple days, on a sideways move, like what's going on. It's easier, you know, if they want to, if it wants to go higher, you get start getting that nice price move, you start getting an expansion of volume, it's good, okay, man, that thing wants higher price, we got buyers. You get a sideways move, it's like, I don't know what you want to do, man. You know, particularly after a big down day. Because when you get a move like yesterday, you got to remember that markets are all about all our energy combined. That's a huge amount of energy that got pushed out of the marketplace in six and a half hours. That's, that's the way that I look at markets anyway. There's energy on the way up, there's energy on the way down, and there's building cars in between it. We go take a look at uh, good old Google. So with Google out here, okay, so... Google's up 23 bucks. This definitely gapped. Oh, this, this came down on Friday with volume two. They unloaded on this baby. Three million shares on Friday. Yesterday we ended up doing 1.7. You do it 700,000 today. We put this on a weekly. And see, this is really strong, man. This is going to be interesting. You know, it's going to, Google's going to be a great equity, folks to keep on your radar because this is definitely one of the strongest equities in the marketplace. Yeah, and, and reason I'm saying that is this. See, on the weekly right now, well, on the weekly, you're coming into uh, 8.1 8 .8 million and we're 2.4. So that's telling me that you've already gotten a test and a rejection of lower price because I cannot see how Google's going to do 8 million shares this week, even though uh, today's Tuesday. It just, that, you know, that, today we did this seven, let's say it's going to do, uh, I don't know, 750,000 today. You did 1.7 million yesterday. Yeah, I, I just don't see it basically doing that much volume. We're going to take a look at uh, Facebook, and then we're going to get, get our heads wrapped around Caterpillar. We take a look at Facebook. Uh, Facebook down. Yesterday with 350, you're up today. I mean, you're up today with 350. Facebook's strong too, man. Facebook's strong too. The addiction of Facebook is <laughs> is there, evidently. You know, uh, you, t you take a look at uh, this. This is strong. Let's go over to Caterpillar and take a look at Caterpillar. So we got to take a look. The lows 142, the highs 246. Next time they come out with numbers is on the 28th of October. They pay a 2.33% dividend. Look at this, a gap lower yesterday. This is, okay, so what do we have here? Okay. Oh, this is not cool. Okay, so, okay, so you made a high. Yeah, this is a problem. And the Tiger's looking for uh, entry. Okay, so I'm going to put this on a monthly. Okay, so on a monthly, you don't have a high volume high. I'd be looking at like 159. I, I think this thing's going to come all the way back to where it broke from, broke out from. Yeah, you're going to have to be careful with fate, uh, with uh, Caterpillar. That's pretty wild, man. Yeah. Let me just see what, what they, they're thinking of. Uh, yeah, stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go to Asim in Dallas, Texas. Asim, what's going on, brother? Hey, uh, Tom, I don't know if you have time or not for na uh, take a look at natural gas chart. Uh, you do you, do you think it's going to six before it goes to three thirty or under four? I would say that no, it's in a retracement right now. Uh, you know, you, you just you went one way. I mean, just the the we just went from three seventy three, you know, That's getting up to that yeah. five forty five. When you see something like this, it's like okay. I mean, there's there's, there's no reason to count back into not three but four twenty. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We okay. started out at two sixty. Um, but what I'm doing is I, Boyle is the ETF, and I'm selling a spread on that, um, the 75 on the top and and 40 on the bottom. On oil or? Uh, Boyle, Boyle. Boyle. Oh, cool. Okay. Boyle. Okay. Boyle. Yeah. Okay. So you're so you selling the spread. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. Right. That that like makes it? sense. Right. Because yeah. you, okay. you're, ba you're backing down, right? And yeah. I think this is, this is just the beginning of the back down. That's what it looks like to me. Do you know what I mean? I mean, and it's had an incredible run. So, I mean, you know. Music to my ears. Yeah. Okay, brother. And you have a great one and a safe one. Good money in it. Okay. Okay, right. man. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, let's go look at deer for a second. Because when we looked at cat, that was really kind of, you know, eye-opening. And, and if we look at deer, it's the same way. Deer is, you know, down 215. And, you know, the bottom line is that you get the commodities going. Uh, what this might be, uh, yeah, well, actually, actually, Dia has a high volume low. So this wants to go after that 330, 321. 
And hey, listen, it may have to do with that. Yes, these these companies can. Uh, let me just see what they're saying fundamentally. That they might be get busier, but if the parts cost them more money, yeah, they they're busier. <laughs> okay, uh, they look to do 10.6 billion this quarter versus 25 billion in a whole year. Uh, that being said, though, this is, this could very well turn into a whole nother pot steal. You could be busy. You could take more money in. But what do you bring it to the bottom line, man? That's what the market wants to know. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health habits and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night, folks. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Come back over tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks. Building wealth.